Good morning, Wellness Warriors, my Finish Strong Challengers. I'm so proud of you guys. Congratulations on getting through week number one. Um, it's Saturday. It's a rainy day here in Georgia. Um, and this morning's workout, workout number two, for week number two, we are going to focus on resistance training. Some of the exercises will use our own body weight, and then you're going to need a set of five pound or lighter um, hand weights or plates. We're going to do some overhead extensions for the triceps. We're going to do some bicep curls. Uh, and if you want to hold the weights, you can use them for your squats and your lunges. Um, with that being said, I'm a big believer of breaking things down into manageable bite-sized pieces. So the goal is 100 of each. Uh, we may finish this in 30 minutes. It may take you a little longer. Give yourself permission to take what you need. Your body will tell you if uh, it's, you know, there's a difference between fatigue and borderline injury, right? So when your body is being challenged, I want you to do at least one more set of 25, okay? When your body's feeling challenged, you're like, oh my God, I'm really feeling this. There's a difference in that and I'm losing technique, I'm shaking and I can't maintain good structural technique. That's when you stop. Okay, um, we got to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That's the deal. So we're going to warm up just a little bit. You're going to need a mat or a soft area where you can get on the floor. You're going to need a set of five or two and a half, three pound weights, whatever you're most comfortable with. And uh, yeah, we'll get through this together. This one is about resistance. Resistance is a force against pressure. Okay, so your body weight against gravity. Does that make sense? So when we're doing a push-up, we push the floor away and then we resist our body coming back down toward the earth. You push, that's muscular, and then we pull the opposite side of the body is also muscular, but we're resisting gravity. I hope that makes sense. All right, so we're going to uh, warm up just a little bit. I hope that this is recording. I, Yes, it is. Good deal. Let me just make sure my volume is up. I am not going to turn any music on from my end, but if music is a real motivator for you, I want you to put on some music that makes your body want to jump, okay, or move. Um, we, we all have different flavors, and so I want you to find that music or not. Sometimes it's nice to just push your body uh, in, in silence and notice what your mind's doing with the challenge. Um, okay, with that being said, just get into a, a space where um, you can move freely and just swing your arms out. Now I want you to start to think about your core. Lift your knees and rotate the knees. Open up those hips. Keeping the core in nice and tight, lifting through the spine, and then just lift them straight up and down. Now, a little different. This is all quadriceps. When we take the knees out, we're using those external rotators as well. So keep the core in, keep the chest up, keep the shoulders back and down. Now, just add a little kick to the front. Just kick it out. You're extending at the knee. We never want to snap the knee, we're lifting and extending, thinking about the way our body moves. All right, take your feet wide and just a light squat down and up. Push your butt back. So within the warm up phase here, I just wanna walk through all the good technique that we're gonna use and then we'll hit those 100. We're gonna break them down into 25 each, so we've got four sets. In your squat, load your heels with your weight. Keep your chest up as you sit your butt back and down. So you're maintaining a nice long spine and you're pushing up through your heels. Give me a couple more. And time. Now take one leg, stride it back. 
tuck the knee up under your, your hip. Your spine is flat, your shoulders are back, and that back knee, you're gonna drive it straight down and then push up through the forward heel. So down, up, down, up. Good stuff. Now when we get to lunges, do a couple more on this leg and let's switch sides. Switch it around. When we get to the lunges, we're gonna do 12 on each side. All right, doable, right? Comes out to 24 if you wanna do 13 and 12, just make sure you're alternating to keep everything nice and symmetrical. Driving in with the back knee, pushing out through the forward heel, warming the quads. And then on that back leg, or the front leg, excuse me, you're pushing up through the heel and you're warming the hammies. One more time. Shake off your legs, feel the warmth. Now bring the arms up again and crisscross Really extend now, really push the arms forward and back. Creating blood flow in the upper body. And then just take one arm and then the other. Try to go all the way through your range of motion like you're doing a backstroke in the water. This is where we start to notice when we're lacking range of motion. If you can't get your, your arm all the way up next to your ear, you might want to work on, and we will together later, work on a little stretching and flexibility training. Go the opposite way. Forward. Keep the abs in. Sorry, y'all. I'm in my basement gym and the ceiling. Can you hear that? I can touch the ceiling. I'm only 5'7". It's not a very high ceiling. And time. All right, shake it off. Squats, lunges, chest. When we come to a push-up, I'm going to come to the floor. You don't have to unless you want to go ahead and get it warm. We will be warm by the time we do our first set of push-ups. Your hands are wide. All right, let me turn to you. Hands are wide so that when you come down with your chest, your elbows are 90-degree angles. You push up through the heel of your hand, you keep your spine long, and you really brace in the core. So you want that spinal length, like a flat surfboard, going down and up. Bringing the heart forward will help you keep a nice elongated spine. All right, that's push-ups. Then we're going to do triceps. When we go to do a tricep extension, the most important thing here is that your shoulder blades are rolled back and down, and then your elbows come forward. So your range of motion will all have different ranges of motion just based on the flexibility of our shoulders. Biceps, elbows directly under the shoulders. I'll remind y'all of all of this. You don't wanna let them drift back and you don't wanna bring them forward. You can do that exercise, but for what we're gonna to do today, I want you to keep the shoulder rolled back Keep the elbow directly under your shoulder. Squeeze it all the way up to your clavicle and then all the way down to your thigh. All right? Then we're going to hit the core. So we're going to go squats, push-ups, triceps, biceps, lunges, core. Then I'll, I'll give you a quick stretch at the end. All right, so 25 of each per set. So the first thing we're going to do, if you want to use your weights, go ahead and pick up your weights and I want you to place them on your shoulders. You don't have to use additional weight. Your own body weight is totally fine. Your feet are just wide of hips and you want to push into the earth. So really draw your core in, roll your shoulders back so you've got that nice long spine and your knees are soft. And we go one, two. Now you can count off to yourself. You're doing this on your own time. And you're gonna do this workout twice this week and then work out number one once this week. That's gonna be your physical challenge. So three days, you gotta lock them into your calendar. You gotta take a photo of it after you've posted it somewhere you can see it every day. I want you to send me a picture of your commitment. That commitment is important. It's your goal. We have five more here, y'all. 
Keep breathing. Two and one. All right, shake it off. Lose the weights. Come down for push ups. Hands wide, abs in tight, and you're coming down and up. Now, the lower you can go, the more you're going to work into your chest and into the backs of your shoulders. Keep bringing the heart forward and keep your abs really tight. Keep your breath moving and bring the heart forward every time you lower down. Keep going. 10, nine, eight, Push the floor away with the heels of your hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit back, take a stretch. Roll your body up, come to standing. One or both weights. I'm using fives, so if you're gonna use both, that makes 10, you got the math. And you want to roll your shoulders back. Keep your abs in really tight. And now bring the elbows forward. So point at me with your elbows. And then you're going to come all the way down. So you want to come all the way down to the base of your neck and extend up. One, two, three, four. Keep the abs in. Keep a slight bend in your knees. Push into the earth and squeeze your butt. That kinesthetic energy will help you maintain good technique. Nice and long through the spine, abs are tight, you're breathing. And if you're on 10 pounds, you're feeling your triceps. Maybe on five, you're feeling it. But you wanna identify the muscles, especially as they start to fatigue. You wanna know that your technique is spot on. So you're feeling that in the back of the upper arm, I hope. Brace, breathe, 10, nine, eight. Keep the elbows forward and the shoulders back. It's key to good technique on a tricep overhead extension. Five more, come on, we got this. Four, three, two, and one, bring them down. Roll them off. Now, if you're using both weights, separate one in each hand. Shoulders back, push into the floor, feet are directly under your hips. Let your arms hang, lift your chest. Now, when you lift up, you supinate your hands. So you turn your thumbs to the side wall and then you lower back down, rotating inward. So you go one, two, Fight gravity coming down and breathe. Keep lifting through your chest and pushing into the earth while you brace your core. It's all connected. Come on. Now, if you want, you can speed it up. We're lightweighted. Time is of the essence, right? I'm going to the Georgia game today and I'm so grateful that you guys are giving me permission to bump our group meeting to tomorrow morning, Sunday, October 11th at 11 o'clock. So 9-11 at 11, okay? I'll see you, I'm gonna send you the Zoom in the morning and you guys can hook up and bring any of the questions that you have about this previous week or the, yeah, the, the previous week and the week that's upcoming because I emailed you all the challenges already. Two more and one. Okay, we're to lunges. Brace the core. Feet are hip width apart. Tuck the knee under and brace. Shoulders back, hands on hips. If you want, you can hold your weights. You go down and you want to strive for a 90-90 angle at your knees. So drive straight in, push straight out. And remember, we've got 12 on each leg. If you want to do 13 on each leg, go for it. Breathe in, breathe out. 
but drive that knee down. You want to get into your range of motion. Now, if it's if you're having knee issues and you can't quite go to 90, work within the, the, the sphere of where your body will allow today, your current condition of capability, okay? That's really important. You're here, you're doing it, you're successful. Switch legs. I get to talking and forget what number I'm on. So hopefully I'm ended up doing a lot more and not fewer than necessary. <laughs> All right, keep pushing that back knee straight down and pressing out through the forward heel. Make sure the knee on the front leg remains slightly bent at the top of the movement. We want to keep all that resistance and tension in the muscle and not in the joint. We got four more here. Three, two, and one. Push back. All right. Coming to the floor for core. Cross crawls. So we want to push our low back down. Lift the heart. Stack the knees directly above your hips. Brace the core by pressing down. So you want to feel that pelvic tilt. Extend one leg and cross toward the bent knee. And then switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep pressing the low back down. Keep breathing. If it's too much to extend, just toe tap instead. Thirteen. 14, 15, keep your neck long, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. On your feet, round number two, squat, one, two, you know the drill, so squats to push-ups, triceps, biceps, lunges, and core. These are the big ones. If you do that every other day, I promise you would start to see muscle change in your body. You would start to notice toning and refinement. Breathe in, breathe out. Second round. You can thank me that there are no burpees today. You're welcome. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Push ups. Right to it, girls. Dive in. Now, if you're feeling really good today, maybe you want to knock them out in pulses. You get there faster, you really generate the intensity by pumping it out really quick, shocking the muscle. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, push back. Or take your time and do the slower ones. If you're going slow, I'm giving you a chance to catch up. That's all good. We're in this together. Round two. Yeah, so it's pouring down rain. Headed to the Georgia game today. Full rain gear. Proving that I'm a fan. All right. It'll be a story, you know. I'll be one of those people, hopefully 10 years from now, going, yeah, I went to a Georgia game during COVID. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Triceps. Load it up, shoulders back, elbows forward, abs in, drop and lift. Now keep your eyes on the horizon. Keep your abs in and your knees slightly bent. Train that range of motion. We gotta train it to sustain it. If 10 pounds becomes too much, you can always drop one of the weights. But keep that technique locked down and travel throughout your range of motion, it's key. Breathe in, breathe out. You got this. Ooh, hello, triceps. Eight more, come on. Seven, 
six, five, four. You can start to feel the fatigue setting in, right? It's a good sign. Last one. Come on down. Roll them off. Brace your core really tight. Roll your shoulders back. Let your arms hang. Elbows directly under the shoulders. One, two, three. Supinate those hands. Keep lifting through your chest. Slight bend in the knees and squeeze your butt. Fight that gravity coming down. Get that negative contraction, big benefits. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lunges. All right, I'll stay to the side this time. Draw the knee up under, lift the chest, drive straight down and up. Two, three. Make sure you're pushing out of the forward heel. Squeeze your butt and breathe. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Switch legs. And go. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To the floor for the core. Cross crawl, stack the knees, press the low back down, and push energy down the leg as you cross the opposite shoulder over. Keep breathing. Really try to extend your elbows wide and twist from the shoulder to get your obliques. Press the low back down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, girls. Now, Take a sip, take a breath. Three and four, I want you to go as fast with it as you can, maintaining range of motion, maintaining the number, but pump it out, all right? So I'm just gonna be here with you, do what you got to do, weights if you want them, no weights if not. Get that range of motion. Push your butt back into your heels. Keep the breath moving. Keep the knees soft at the top. Come on. Three, two, one. Push ups, come on down. Fire when ready, let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Keep those abs in tight. Three, two, one. Tricep, overhead extensions. Pick up your weight. Go one, two, three. Keep the abs in, knees soft. Shoulders back, elbows forward. <sighs> Lift your chest, brace that core, come on. All the way down, all the way down. <sighs> you got this. <sighs> Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bicep curls. Chest up, go. One. Keep your knees soft. Push down into the floor. Get that energy out of the earth. 
Use it to your advantage. Keep your shoulders back. Keep your elbows under your shoulders. And you're breathing. Come on. You got this. Super set in it. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Lunges. Leg back. One, two, three, four. Keep the abs in. Shoulders back. Push out through the forward heel. Feel the glutes and hammies fire on that front leg. And make sure you're keeping the knees soft at the top. All right, we got 10 more. Come on. Oh, that's a lie. We're doing 12 on each leg switch. We just did 15 on that side, but that's okay. Bonus Saturday. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what does that mean? We got to do 15 on this side, right? Five, four, three, two, one. To the floor for the core. Woo, we got one more set to go, girls. Let's do it. Push the low back down. Cross crawl. Remember, if it's too much, you can just toe tap the floor and keep the cross alive. Breathe. Do what your body will do. Challenge it. That's why we call it a workout and not a play date. Come on. We work now so we can play later. Keep pushing that low back down. Come on. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. 15 seconds, we go again. Last round. Don't you quit on you. You are so worth this effort. Focus on why you started to begin with. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're awesome. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. You are so ahead of most of the world right now. Getting it done early. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. To the floor. Push ups. Hands wide. One. Keep your neck long. Keep your abs tight. Keep the breath moving. Muscles require oxygen. Breathe. Fill your body up with air. Come on, 10 more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push back, come on. Come on, weights up. Elbows at, at your temples, shoulders back. One, two, three, four. Bend your knees just a little, squeeze your butt. Touch the, the traps right there at the base of your neck. Don't slam that weight into your body, though. Keep it controlled. Elbows forward. Point at me. I'm guilty. Yes. Breathe. Come on, eight more. Seven. Six. We're so close. Three. Two. One, biceps, stand in your true height, shoulders back, arms long, feet under hips, go, one, breathe in, breathe out, come on, you got this, now in the week, if you want to play, think about having a heavier set of weights in your first two rounds, and in the last two rounds, if you need it, have this set of weights to drop into. 
Just challenge yourself in a different way. You can always stop through the reps and pick up the lighter weights, right? Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go with the weights, lunges. Come on, stride it back, tuck it under, lift it up, drop down and up. Keep that knee soft, keep the abs tight. Drive in with the back knee, push up through the forward heel. So close, girls. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs, tuck it under, drive. Yeah, these big muscles use up all of your oxygen, oxygen supply, so breathe. Fill your body with air. When we learn how to use our breath, we can go a lot longer. Five, four, three, two, one. To the floor for the core, and we stay for a stretch. Come on down. Pick your option, whether you're extending or your feather touching the floor with your toes. You want to push the low back down and go. If I'm moving too fast, slow it all down, guys. It's your workout. It's your choice. But I'm right here with you. Bring that opposite shoulder across. Breathe. Oh, this is so good for our bodies. How our body loves a challenge, yeah? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, take a big cleansing breath in. Identify how you're feeling right now. Tuck that in your pocket. If you're feeling really exhausted, maybe you didn't get enough sleep. Maybe your water intake has been light and you need more hydration. Maybe you ate really heavy last night. Drop your knees to one side and roll that back shoulder down to get the best twist in the stretch that we're looking for. Now let your breath be long. Just surrender to the breath. As much as our physical body loves the challenge of movement, our muscles also love the adoration of a stretch. Oh yeah, so draw the belly in, lift the knees up. Let's go to the other side. So once the knees land, just roll that back shoulder down. Feel the stretch. And just soften into it. And rolling to your back. Extend one heel straight up. Now you want to push that hip down as you lift through the heel. And then roll the shoulders back away from your ears. Keep breathing. You'll feel the hamstrings here. And if you really flex your foot and drop your toes, you'll feel the calf muscle. And then soften. Bring the other knee in. Extend the heel up. Press that hip into the earth. Walk your hands up. Just hold the leg where it would like to be held. Just meet your stretch where you are today. Holding our stretches for 10 to 15 seconds per is just what we need for flexibility training. We want to do it post-activity when the muscles are really warm. All right, drop it down. Roll yourself over. Thread one arm under and drop that shoulder down. Drop the side of your head down. And you'll feel the back of your shoulder stretch. 
we tend to store a lot of stress right back here in the base of our neck and the backs of our shoulders. Always a good idea to give them some love. And then gently switch sides. All right, pull that arm through. Bringing one leg forward, just shift your hips in. So you want to make sure that knee is not exceeding your toes. Can you lift your toes on the front foot? If you can't, just slide that back leg back a little bit more. And then tuck your pelvis under till you feel a good stretch right through your quads. Now the leg that's extended behind you, take that same arm up. Notice how it elongates even more. Feeling even more length in that hip flexor or in those hip flexors. Keep breathing. Giving the body time to absorb it. And then gently press back. Switching legs. Bring the hips forward. Where can you surrender right now? Maybe you want to have a hand on the floor for a little more stability. Just make sure you're not seated right on top of that patella, that knee joint. Come forward of it so that you can roll that hip forward. And then for a little more length, just reach up and lift your chest up. Keep coming through with the hip. Stretching should feel really good. It should never be torture. And then gently press back. Hands on your thigh. Help yourself up. Open your chest really wide. Now turn your palms back and press your hands. Feel the stretch right across your chest. Tip from the hip and then swing your arms. I call this the Michael Phelps. It just feels so good, doesn't it? One more. All right, roll up, triceps. Over and back, easy does this guy. Easy muscle group to overstretch. So just meet that length. If you have the flexibility and you want to curve it over for a little bit more, just don't, don't force it. Invite it in. And then release. Other side. Just drawing that forearm into your ear. Keep breathing. Keep lengthening. So you want to seek length through your spine by lifting the chest. And if you have a little more length and flexibility, you can take it over. But don't force it. And release the arms. Swing them out side to side. We finish like we started. Getting some blood flowing. All right, girls. Tomorrow morning, 9-11 at 11, right here via Zoom. Um, I'll send you the link first thing in the morning. So when you get up and you get your coffee and you've had your breakfast and you've done all your things, uh, come into a quiet space where we can spend at least 30 minutes together. If we run a few minutes over, uh, just give me a heads up that you can't stay longer than 30 minutes and, and we'll try to get it all in. Okay. Um, I hope everybody can join. If not, those of you who will, I will see you tomorrow. All right, peace be with y'all. Stay safe, stay well, love yourself, love each other. Bye.